Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to split your styles into smaller chunks with partials. Partials in SAS are separate files that hold segments of CSS code. These are imported and used into in other uh, SAS files. This is a great way to group similar code into a module to keep it organized. Name for partials start with an underscore character which tells SAS it is a small segment of CSS and not to convert it into a CSS file. Also SAS files end with .scss file extension. To bring the code in the partial into another SAS file, use the import directive. So this is something that uh, I actually use. Um, for example, if you if you if all your mixins are saved in a partial named mixins.scss, then and they are needed in the main scss file. This is how to import them in the main file. So this is this the syntax: import mixins. If this file is called main.scss, so you notice they the at import symbol is what pulls it in, but then you'll also notice that they don't add the suffix of the file name. So uh, it, here they say note that the underscore and file extension are not needed in the import statement. SAS understands it is a partial. Once a partial is imported into a file, all variables, mixins, and other code are available to use. While an import statement to import, oh, write an import statement to import a partial named variables.scss into the main file. Okay, so we're just going to say import, and we're going to put in a string variables with a V. And um, the main scss file import variables. And if we run the test, it looks like they pass. So yeah. Um, I use this a lot when you're building applications. You might have a long list of like import uh, colors, and then this way you can say import um, grid settings, uh, and then these will all be applied to separate f folders or separate files that have these different things. And if you're able to break your code into, you know, variables, colors, and grid settings or whatever, that's going to be really useful because you're going to have, be able to say, okay, I want to change the main color of this website across everything. I can just go into the colors folder and then your colors SCSS file will only have like maybe 60 lines of code. Whereas if you had all three of these SCSS files together, you might have a CSS file that has like 90 lines of code and it'll become exceptionally difficult. No, like 600 lines of code because these SCSS files can get huge with bigger applications. And so as long as you're breaking them down into smaller chunks, it becomes easier to debug your code and fix things uh, as your application grows. So this is very useful. And just as this is just basically the idea of how you can um, have one full, full, you could have a main SCSS file that just imports a bunch of things from all over the place, but then you have it all broken down into separate folders. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.